Attention bourbon lovers, Give 270's 2020 Unicorn Raffle is back, and it's more magical than ever. For just $20, get two chances to win from an incredible lineup of 20 allocated and limited release Weller prizes, including the grand prize, the ultimate unicorn, the Weller Millennium. Get your $20 tickets now through August 28th at Give270.org. Charitable gaming license ORG 000-2703. Want to pair your Kentucky bourbon tasting trip with some fun activities for the family? Well, dive into excitement with Just Add Water Kentucky, and you can discover our state's stunning water-based attractions and activities, from tranquil lakes to thrilling river adventures. So whether you're into fishing, kayaking, or just relaxing by the water, Just Add Water Kentucky has the perfect experience for you. Visit JustAddWaterKY.com to see what attractions are available for over 15 counties across the state. Make a splash and explore Kentucky like never before with Just Add Water Kentucky. Hey everyone, we're back with another Whiskey Quickie and now we're going to take a good hard look at our good friends Mike and Danny from Penelope and this is their architect build. Every time I... Talk to Mike, and he talks about MJP in his Jersey <laughs> accent. That's like that's all I think about when I try or taste his products. Him so I'm talking about how good MJP is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of want to ask them like, why'd you come with the name Architect? Is it because Danny's prior job was doing like yeah, HVAC he was like, installations? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, designing <laughs> HVAC systems. It, it's it, it does take an architect to do something like that. That's right. That or you're you're looking to. We know be, Mike wasn't. Oh, we, <laughs> yeah. There we go. But we still love you, Mike. Yeah, we do too. But you know, you also hit on the all the architects that are out there. There's, there's building architects. There's bridge architects. There's electrical uh, lighting. There's software architects that are out there. So it's, you, all kinds of people. sandwich architects. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that the new subway? Yeah, they're going to call them. They're no longer artists. They're, yeah, architects. they're architects. I like yeah. it. All right, so this is Penelope Architect. This is going to be build number 10. And so its combined mash bill is 75% corn, 15% wheat, 7% rye, and 3% malted barley. It's a straight bourbon whiskey finished with two different types of French oak staves. They said one's a delicate stave, which is going to be for low tannin content, and intense staves for medium tannin content. It's 104 proof. It is non-H dated, and the retail is around $65. Good price. Yep. Now, every time I hear the word delicate, I think of Taylor Swift because of you. Oh, wow. See, it's really left a good impression on you. Yeah. I'm glad to see this. Yep. It, it's the gift that keeps on giving. And that's right. On with the nose. Getting a little coffee flavors. Yeah. I was going to say like, almost like a, a hint of espresso, which is also the other song I sung. Some little almond, toasted almonds, kind of little nuttiness mm-hmm. in the nose. I like that. That toasted almond, almost like a, like, almost like a cashew as well. Yeah. Toasted cashews? Toasted. When you have those lately. Oh. I'm, I'm, I haven't had maybe, toasted almonds in a while either. End up, end up having like pistachios sitting around and all kinds of random That's nuts. a lot of work. It is. <laughs> I I never get why people like pistachios. It is a lot of work just for just a little bit of reward. It's like crab legs. I love crab legs, but the amount of time it takes to get the meat out, I'm just like, I'm just not Just one even, little nugget. I'm not even hungry anymore. Don't do a crawfish boil. That's a <laughs> lot of work. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead on with the taste. Mm. It's really creamy on the front end. Kind of get that coffee, almondy, but then like this bright fruitiness just explodes in the mid palate. You know, you get, I get like kind of like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, just all these berries kind of like just kind of coming out. The French oak doesn't overpower anything. No, it's here. not like tannic or it's bitter. Not, it's not super. There is, there is a little bit of dryness at the end, yep. but it doesn't have a pronounced tannic or bitter flavor that you'd be in like, oh, wow, this tastes like a huge French oak influence. I mean, when you taste a lot of stuff from Maker's Mark and their French oak, it is a big French oak influence. I think this is about 30% of what you would get from a, a Maker's Mark influence on it. Yeah, this is nice and balanced. I like it. I agree as well. So let's go ahead and rate it on the nose. How are you going to do? Thumbs up. Loved it. The taste? Thumbs up. Really enjoyed it. And the finish? Kind of sideways, but thumbs up. I mean, there's it's a little quarters. dry, you know. It is it, dry. It kind of evaporates real quick, um, but that's expected with French oak. But uh, front and mid palate are fantastic on it. Yeah, still a great offering. Yep. With that, that is our review of Penelope Architects Build Number Ten. We'll see you next time. Toodles. 